In this lesson in Excel, I need to address printing options. Not only might you have to print your Excel spreadsheet one day, some of you might want you to send it as a PDF as well, which is very similar to printing. So we're gonna take a look at what this file would look like. This is a really big file, and I wanna show you what it looks like if you were to print it. So we're gonna to go to File here and Print, and that's this is where you find Print Preview now. So the first page looks great, right? I have my labels on the left, I have my labels at the top, and I have my numbers. But as I go through my document, I've lost my labels at the top. So I no longer know what any of these mean. I know that they're associated to this employee, but I don't see that. Now, I learned in a previous lesson that if I freeze my, uh, my, my columns or my rows, I can have them show up all the time but for printing it's a totally different story it doesn't affect your printing okay so here if i print this not only are my labels not showing up but i'm getting some really strange size sheets here it's not, they're not ending in very logical places so i need to fix all of that so i'm going to go back to home here and after you've gone to print preview it will show you where your pages will break right so I'm seeing here in my sheet where my pages will end. And I see there's a real narrow one here. I have absolutely no idea why. So the first thing I want to do is I want these labels to be repeated. I want, when I print, I want row four to show up all the time. And I want column A to show up all the time. In order to get that, you have to go to the page layout tab right here. And then from here, we're going to go to print titles. The row to repeat at the top is four. Unfortunately, you can't just type four. You have to say four all the way to, so I'm using the two symbol, which is a colon, and then four. I only want that one repeated. And while I'm here, I'm gonna tell it that I also want column A to be repeated. So I'm gonna go A to A. Uh, you, you can also set your, we set the grid lines to print up here. You can also set them when you got to this menu if you wanted to, but because we set it here, it's repeating here. So we're fine, the grid lines are going to print. So now if I go to print preview from here, I'm going to see that when I get to page two and three and four and five, my labels are repeating all the way through. So if I were to print this or save it as a PDF, the person who receives it is going to be able to read it and it's going to make sense. I'm still getting all these funny breaks, I don't like my page sizes the way they're turning out, but we're gonna fix that next. But at least now we have our titles repeating. I'm gonna go back here and we did that from page layout and print titles. Next, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to choose page break preview. And here it tells you when you get in here, you can adjust the page breaks by clicking and dragging with your mouse. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've got these funny little breaks here that I really don't like. And I can try to adjust them this way. And now I'm seeing that, you know, I have way too many of these things. So I'm gonna eliminate one by dragging it off and then I'm gonna resize this way and try to make it so that all my pages are the same size. So you eliminate them by dragging them off. If you wanted to add one, you can you can select a column, right click, and then insert a page break if you wanted to. If you wanna go back to what you had originally, you can reset. I'm not gonna do either of those things right now because I've worked hard to make this look pretty much the way I want. So that's from page break preview. You click and drag them, you can add them, you can delete them. Then when you're happy with that, you can go back to normal view. And these little lines here show you where your pages break. And if you zoomed out, you can actually get a pretty good idea as to how this is going to print out. Again, I explained in a previous lesson that if, you're, if your numbers show up as numbers here, you can adjust your column so as to make them fit. It just means your column is not wide enough. And you sometimes get that symbol when you zoom out. I want to address finally headers and footers. If you want your workbook or worksheet to have headers and footers, 
you can go into insert and go into header and footer and here it brings you right to header and then if you hit <clears throat> that button it'll bring you down to footer You can type anything you want in here, or you can put the number of pages, page number. So you have a lot of predetermined things that you could put in a header and footer. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um, it's very similar to Word. You have predetermined ones here. So page one of. So if you have 18 or 19, it'll automatically keep track of how many pages you have, which is nice. So if you want that in your header, you can do that here. Um, if you wanted uh, to, to give it any one of these, you can choose any one of these. So here I can do that. Page shows me that I'm on page 7 of 10. And as soon as I do that, it kicked me out of the menu altogether, which is a little bit weird. Um, if I go back to insert header and footer, um, we noticed that going there uh, was rather fruitless. So I'm going to try coming to footer here instead and maybe doing something similar. And now it's brought me to the bottom and it's not really showing me any results for footer but let's take a look at our print preview and see what came of that so we're going to go to file and print so it did indeed work even though our our preview in the other window wasn't very good and now i'm just scrolling through to see what all my pages look like and then i'll go back to home And I'm going to go back to view and rather than page layout view, I'll go to normal view. When I get to normal view, you're going to see that your headers and footers disappear. They're still there. We just don't see them in normal view.